Devil's Bridge is a term applied to dozens of ancient bridges found primarily in Europe. Most of these bridges are stone or masonry arch bridges and represent a significant technological achievement in ancient architecture. There's nearly 50 Devil's Bridges in France alone, and dozens more across Europe. The bridges that fall into the Devil's Bridges category are so numerous that the legends about them form a special category in the Arne Thompson classification system for folk tales. Each of the Devil's Bridges typically has a corresponding devil-related myth or folk tale regarding its origin. These stories vary widely depending on the region and the beliefs. Some have the Devil as the builder of the bridge, relating to the precariousness or impossibility of such a bridge to last or exist in the first place, so much so that only the Devil himself could have built it. Other myths and folktales surrounding these bridges suggest that the knowledge to build such a bridge was a gift from the Devil himself as part of a deal, a pact, or a bargain between the Devil and the local populace or the builder in exchange for their souls. In the case of the stone bridge at Regensburg, there is a legend that the bridge builder and the cathedral builder, who were apprentice and master, had a bet as to who would finish first. When the building of the cathedral progressed faster than that of the bridge, the bridge builder, being the apprentice, made a pact with the devil. The devil would aid him in exchange for the first three souls, or the first eight feet, to cross the bridge. The devil helped as requested, and the bridge was finished first but the bridge builder sent a rooster, a hen, and a dog across the bridge first. A statue of a falling man on the cathedral is said to represent the master throwing himself off in reaction. Enraged, the devil attempted to destroy the bridge but failed. This is why it is bent, they say. In fact, the bridge was already completed when the construction began on the cathedral in 1273. In the legend of the Tufelsbrook in Hamburg, which only leads over a small stream, the carpenter had a pact with the devil, and he promised him the first soul crossing the bridge. On the day of the inauguration, while the priest and county councillor debated who would set foot on the bridge first, a rabbit crossed it, and the disappointed devil disappeared. There is a statue near the bridge that refers to this legend. The legend of the Ponte de la Maddalena in Borgo a Mozano tells of a local saint who made a pact with the devil in order to complete the bridge. In return for completing the bridge, the devil would take the first soul that crossed the bridge. On the day of the delivery, the saint sets fire to a dog that crosses the bridge and deceives the devil. It's a pretty startling story to be quite honest, especially saints making deals with the devil and lighting dogs on fire. But that's how the legend goes. Now getting back to the original focus of my research, I was trying to identify one of the more important devil's bridges in the Sholinen Gorge. Now the Sholinen Gorge is a north, south, east, west point of crossing in the Alps, which gives you access to northern Italy and southern Germany. In fact, in the early Roman Empire, they were using sections of that pass to control the expansion of the German tribes and keep them north of the Alps. By the mid 12th century, there was a very difficult footpath you could take 1800 meters into a high Alpine valley, but the southern portion of the gorge was not passable without the construction of a bridge. The sheer walls of this gorge were near vertical and you had massive obstacles to overcome, such as huge rocks that had fallen down in the pass, which sparked a legend later on after the bridge was built. The original bridal path across the Scholinen was realized by means of a wooden ledger attached to a rock wall known as a Torrenbrook. At the same time that this wooden ledger along the rock wall had replaced the stone steps, a wooden bridge had been built to cross the gorge at its most treacherous point. Despite numerous attempts to repair and reinforce the wooden bridge, which became known as Steibender Steg, it was replaced by a stone bridge in 1595, which would become known as the Devil's Bridge or the Tufelsbrook. Despite the strength and the safety that this new stone bridge would provide, on St. Patrick's Day, 1608, Hugh O'Neill, Earl of Tyrone, was fleeing the English with 98 of his fellow Gales. When crossing the Devil's Bridge, one of the horses carrying his fortune plunged into the torrent below. The horse was recovered, but not the gold, which was lost to the raging torrent. 
the legends surrounding the bridge wouldn't show up until the 16th century, and they would include the Devil's Stone, which is a 220-ton rock that's near the bridge. According to the legend, the people of the nearby town of Uri recruited the devil for the difficult task of building the bridge. The devil requested to receive the first thing that passed the bridge in exchange for his help. To trick the devil, who expected to receive the soul of the first man to pass the bridge, the people of Uri sent across a dog by throwing a piece of bread, and the dog was promptly torn to pieces by the devil. Enraged at having been tricked, the devil went to fetch a large rock to smash the bridge. But carrying the rock back to the bridge, he came across a holy man who scolded him and forced him to drop the rock, which can still be seen today, which is now referred to as the Devil's Stone. Despite the construction of the stone bridge, the wooden ledger along the side of the cliff that was used as a bridal path since 1200 AD wouldn't be replaced until they could build a new road with a tunnel in 1707. Nearly 100 years after the completion of the bridge and the road, the Gothard Pass would see the Imperial Russians fighting the French Republic in a battle that would cost 4,000 casualties. The tunnel entrance itself would see huge amounts of Russian dead as the French fired canister shot at the mouth of the tunnel as the Russians emerged. The Devil's Bridge at St. Cothard's Pass has been rebuilt numerous times over the centuries into what is today an amazing point of interest. Today you can reach this point of interest by train, by automobile, with numerous different access routes. It has become a very heavily trafficked area with thousands of visitors every year. Most of the Devil's Bridges have a storied history, so if you feel like checking them out, there's a list of them on Wiki if you search the term Devil's Bridge. Mm -hmm.